For the last 16 years, Roblox has served as a platform where you can build whatever you want, as long as it fits the Roblox guidelines. One of my most requested videos is a longer version of my 10 or 15 minutes of useless information videos about Roblox. And just remember, all of the information in this video is probably completely useless. The building that gets blown up in part of the 2008 trailer talking about the release of shirts and pants on Roblox is from the game Bastion of Horsey. While the game slot and account were both created in March of 2006, the actual building in the game wasn't there until May of 2007. I'll be putting a link to it in the description below. The narrator in the infamous 2011 Roblox television commercial with the It's Free catchphrase in it was identified as Jonathan Wright. Genletsky's Nuke the Whales game actually dates all the way back to November of 2006, where it was released on the account Nuke the Whales. This was because only one place could be made per Roblox account at the time. The game was promoted to the Roblox forums, which tells us a few interesting things about it. I made this level to polish my Lua skills. I've tried to add comments to the Whale game script that will help other coders figure out what is going on. Some of the code is stolen from Crossroads and Modified, so look at it all. There are also variables you can tweak to change how the game plays. People are encouraged to hack on my map and release their own versions. The game was later reposted with more additions to the Shedletsky account in August of 2007. The original game from 2006 is also broken as the rocket launcher tool used no longer works. You can move pieces of the map around though. From Roblox's inception up until around 2010, Roblox used a lot of sound effects that were grabbed from random places on the internet. The same goes with textures. For example, this ordinary photo of a pile of junk food was posted to freeimages.com on June 7, 2005. This photo was later used for the insides of the pumpkin bucket and ghost bag gears in the catalog. The two gears were both published alongside each other on Halloween 2009. This is because back when Roblox was relatively small, they didn't have paid graphic designers or sound designers like they do nowadays. This is an unused Roblox health bar from sometime around 2009 or 2010. It was going to display on the right side of the screen. For comparison, this is a 2007 health bar that used to be shown on the far right side of the screen. It would have been put in about the exact same area. Hosted on the Roblox website is an image file of the epic face that is simply named 1centbc.png. The image file has probably been there since about 2011, and the image is stored in the promotion images folder. In the original 2006 version of the Roblox HQ map, four sets of four bricks and one flat brick can be found in each corner of the map. Each group of bricks has a different color. Why these are here is unknown, whether it was some sort of easter egg for someone to find or for use with the drag tool is unknown. You can check it out in this re-upload of the original version of the Roblox HQ map that was uploaded to an account called Yoda Man in March of 2007. On that note, there are two different versions of the Roblox HQ map, one created in 2006 and one created in 2008. Dude One's work at a pizza place used to have horses that were used to deliver pizzas back in early 2009. They were removed for being unreasonable and also incredibly glitchy. What I'm showing on screen right now is the only surviving footage of a Crossroads test server from March 11th, 2009, when the wooden material was being added to Roblox Studio. Here, you can see every part of Crossroads is no longer the studded brick that it used to be, but instead wooden platforms. The earliest official Roblox contest dates all the way back to August of 2006, when Shedletsky announced a building contest on the forums. This was before the Roblox blog existed. It was incredibly simple, just build something cool in an uncopy locked place, and there was a chance that it might get added to Crossroads, the only multiplayer game that was available at the time. The winner was Pilot Luke, who you may know as Stealth Pilot or Scorpio Pilot, who made this sniper tower thing. It was added for only a few months, but was quietly removed from Crossroads in November of 2006. All the way back in 2005, if you were to report a bug or suggest a new feature to the official info at roblox.com email, you would receive 25 Roblox points. This is known because the email hyperlink on the Roblox website in the news panel would open your email and start a new email with the subject bugs and suggestions for 25 points, obviously referring to Roblox points. Roblox points, not to be confused with player points, were the first ever official currency on the website, before tickets and Robux were both added in 2007. 
Roblox points were removed sometime in late 2005 or early 2006, and similar to player points, Roblox points had their own leaderboard on the Roblox website and could be earned by achieving goals in minigames. From around 2009 to 2011, Roblox had a box on the front homepage that showed some current statistics about Roblox. On April 2nd, 2011, 551 freezing icy items were available in the shirts section of the catalog, three form moderators are providing help in the forms, there were 435,289 parents keeping track of their kids on Roblox, the average bid for a user-run banner ad was 3,252 tickets, Survive the Disasters was visited 25,480 times on that day, Call of Roblox EO5 Roblox at War was favored 18,488 times that day, 100 Robux bought about 914 tickets on the currency exchange, and 273 shiny VIP thingies were available in the pants section of the catalog. Rotris is a Stamp Yawi's recreation of Tetris that was created by X Lego X on Roblox in 2008. In November of that same year, the Roblox staff team used it for a contest, in which you could have won one of these three hats as a prize, which you may recognize from them being in the inventories of basically every account that existed before this event. The 123,456th game is Black Cat Goth's place, and despite being a completely default starter place from 2007, it has over 145,000 visits. From around 2008 to 2012, Roblox staff used to pick games to feature on the homepage for everyone to see. On March 27, 2009, the featured free game on the Roblox homepage was Rocket Arena. It had been favorited 4,220 times, visited 110,000 times, and it hadn't been updated in 6 days. Also on March 27, 2009, this was the official Roblox account's avatar. As of June 17, 2006, 234 users had signed up to Roblox. None of them were online. Even though a Roblox chat filter was added in March 2007 to comply with certain child safety policies, you could still see messages with censored words on your end if you sent them up until around 2009. On May 11, 2005, David Bazuki, the founder of Roblox, had 5,317 Roblox points in his account. My Password is Password is a Roblox account that was registered on October 8, 2006. It has since been password guessed. I want to know if the password was actually just password, but I don't think I'll ever know. In the client update that was released on December 2nd, 2010, the speech bubbles are oddly way too wide. This picture file named nobel.png used to be hosted on the official Roblox wiki before the Roblox fandom wiki existed. All the way back in 2007, the picture was uploaded on January 29th, 2007 and was 48 pixels by 48 pixels. As of January 10th, 2009, this was the avatar on the Builderman Roblox account. Beginning on June 24th, 2014, new accounts registered as males were given the pal hair, commonly referred to as the bacon hair for free. The first ever account that was automatically given this hair was Spike City the Second, which was registered on June 24th, 2014. This screenshot from July 18th, 2014 shows the founder of Roblox, David Bazuki, inside of a Julius Cole game, a clone of the Welcome to the Town of Robloxia game by 1dev2. The game shown in the very first section of the Roblox It's Free commercial is actually a real game, although the name and account that it's credited to in the commercial are fake. The game goes by the name of Lava, and it was posted to the Telemon Roblox account in June of 2011. I'll also be putting a link to it in the description below. There are some bizarre things about this game that aren't shown in the commercial clip such as these grey bricks being spawn points and these weird TNT parts that can just be flung off the map. To my knowledge, they don't serve any purpose and they can't blow up. The all-time peak of concurrent players on Tower of Hell at one time was 170,366 people. As of April 30th, 2007, the Roblox account Son of Sevenless had 109 other Roblox users friended. Throughout 2019 to 2021, many UGC test stats were created. These are duplicates of the fresh red baseball cap hat made to test their system against people uploading duplicates of already existing hats. However, a UGC test head called dot 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 with some very peculiar features to it 
was uploaded in June of 2021 to the Roblox account. Originally, it was on sale for one Robux with it being a Google Play exclusive, meaning in this case that it was only purchasable through a catalog script game, a game where you could put a catalog item's ID in and it would allow you to buy it if it was on sale at all. What's weird about it is that it has been updated five different times, as recent as April of 2022. In the fifth and latest version as of now, the thumbnail includes a grey rectangle with a Roblox seeds face on it. If you bought it while it was still available, you could wear it in R15 mode, which will then stretch your head vertically and remove your face texture from your avatar. This doesn't happen in R6 mode, and it didn't happen in the previous four versions. There are a lot of words in other languages that get past a Roblox username censorship filter, mainly swear words that aren't commonly used or don't have exact English equivalents. While it doesn't work anymore, this word is an Italian swear word that basically is Italian's version of English's FU, and it used to be able to be used in usernames uncensored. At 9.56pm on June 30th, 2007, the Roblox user Spyro modified their game by the name of The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. This is the thumbnail, and in my opinion, it doesn't look too much like the TV show of the same name. Between November of 2007 and July of 2008, the price of the sombrero hat on Roblox dropped by 50 Robux going from 500 Robux to about 450 Robux. When creating a new place on Roblox, there are templates you can choose from. Starting Brick Battle was a template that was removed sometime in the mid-2010s, with two towers, two teams, and weapons that are given to you upon spawning. In December of 2006, badges were added to Roblox. Not the kind you win in games, those weren't added until 2009. But the official Roblox kind, such as the friendship badge you get on your profile after adding at least 20 people to your friends list. Up until sometime in late 2008, there was a page accessible on the Roblox website that had the highest ranking users in each of these badges. For example, it shows alongside the definition for the badges Combat Initiation, Warrior, and Bloxer, which are all badges given out depending on how many kills you've gotten in games, the top 15 players with the highest amounts of kills in any game. As of December 30th, 2006, the top people with the most KOs on the Roblox website were Mike with 1,028 KOs, Roblox Army with 935, Brutus with 887, White Chalk 95 with 816, and Halo with 754. Alongside the definitions for the Homestead and Bricksmith badges, which were both awarded depending on how many visits your place had gotten, it also shows the top 15 most visited places. The top 5 most visited places as of December 30th, 2006 were A Fantasy Kingdom Christmas with 500 visits, Brick Battle Santa's Own Toy Factory with 220 visits, Train Depot version 2.5 with 187 visits, Pokemon Army HQ with 154 visits, and Blast Zone with 144. It should also be noted that this list only includes user-made games, not games like Crossroads or Chaos Canyon, which were made by Roblox administrators. As of January 3rd, 2007, there were 8 registered users online on the Roblox forums. Those eight were I Love My Wii, Jake005, Leave, Matt Dusek, Michigan207, Michigan208, Need for Speed, and Shingle. The 23,184,287th game on Roblox is Bailey Beeson's Place, which was created on March 2nd, 2010. The game only has one visit. From around the years of 2000 to 2009, the photographer Dan Haskell ran a website by the name of geekus.org. On it, he had many pages with photos taken using rain or fire, with the homepage even saying the house of rain and fire. One of these was Burning Pumpkins 2004, a page filled with pictures that Dan took that involved setting pumpkins on fire. This one, captioned The Pumpkin King, was inside the Roblox client's game files for years, going back to October of 2006. This is because it was used for the Roblox staff team endorsed Haunted Mansion game in 2006. Another interesting Roblox-related texture's origin is the snowball weapon icon. 
instead of being for the 2006 Halloween event game, this was for the 2006 Christmas event game by the name of Santa's Winter Stronghold. The icon for this weapon comes from the official Wikipedia article for Snowballs. Scrolling down to the gallery will reveal this image, uploaded by the user Andromeda321 in December of 2005. The 1 millionth asset ID on Roblox is taken up by an image file of the original Roblox cursor that was used up until 2013, uploaded in March of 2007 by Eric Castle. The 1 million first asset ID is a t-shirt with the same texture. The 100,000th post on the now defunct Roblox forms was posted by Tylord in August of 2007 and was a reply to the 99,997th form post. The original post is asking which of the three hats was the most worth it to buy, bigger head, sombrero, or the classic fedora, and the 100,000th form post was a reply simply saying sombrero. The Roblox account Barry Dillon was registered on January 7th, 2019, and only has two friends. The featured game on the front page of Roblox as of June 6th, 2011 was Bridge Sword Fight, which at the time had 17,000 favorites and 435,000 visits. As of March 18th, 2009, 100 Robux bought about 475 tickets on the currency exchange. Have you ever thought about the tab titles for the Roblox homepage and how it's changed over time? If you answered no, I didn't either until I was researching for this video. If you said yes, there are over 12,000 mental health treatment facilities in the US. Either way, this tab title for the Roblox landing page has changed 7 times over the last 17 years. From an unknown date in 2005 until June of 2006, it read Welcome to Roblox before changing to Roblox in all uppercase letters in June of 2006. This was used until April of 2007 before being replaced by Roblox, a free virtual world building game with avatar chat, 3D environments, and physics, which yes, does not fit all in one tab. I don't know why they did that. This was then used until March of 2009 when it was replaced by free games at roblox.com. This was used from March of 2009 to February of 2014, which is the longest running landing page title yet. From February to August of 2014, Roblox in all caps was used yet again for the first time since April of 2007. This was before .com was added to it, which stayed for three years until June of 2017, where the landing page's tab title was changed to just Roblox. And this is what the landing page's tab title has been ever since. In some time zones, the first the first Roblox account created in 2008 is considered to be Live to Kill 14. In Roblox Studio, if you were to resize the head special mesh Y axis attribute to anything above 3, it will become a cylinder. In Roblox games, your player's walk speed decreases to 87.5% of the default when swimming and 70% when climbing. When Roblox announced they were going to remove the personal servers feature in 2016, they linked 5 games and said that playing with VIP servers on those games could be a replacement. These 5 games were Miner's Haven, Build Your Dreams, Whatever Floats Your Boat, Sandbox, and Mashables. As of November 29, 2006, the user Demario Richardson had not logged on Roblox since Halloween of 2006. As of now, the last DevX rate update was on March 1st, 2017. It went from 0.0025 to 0.0035. During the 3-day October 2021 Roblox outage, 1,930,681 accounts were made on the first day, 12,830 accounts were made on the first full day of the outage, or the second day, and zero accounts were made on the 30th, which was the second full day of the outage. The last account made before the outage was EKRKDN2283, which was made on the 29th. And the first account made after the outage stopped was Pogotest122. Both of these have not been logged into since the day they were created. Also, yes, this marks the first day that no accounts were made for an entire day since October 2006. I said that in my 10 minute of useless information video and then immediately that happens. And finally, the YouTuber Flamingo's fourth birthday landed on a Monday. <laughs>